Think of it this way. If you feed an image of a cat into the network, the first hidden layer might learn to detect really simple things, like edges and lines. Yep. The next hidden layer might take those lines and combine them into shapes like ears or eyes or whiskers. They are building up a hierarchical representation of the data. So this feature abstraction is the source of the MLP's power. It's fascinating, though, that the theoretical requirement for how many layers you need is, well, it's surprisingly small. Yes, a theory is really powerful here. Two hidden layers are sufficient to solve any problem. That's a key result in approximation theory. But modern deep learning networks use dozens, even hundreds of layers. If two is enough, why bother? Because theoretical sufficiency often clashes with practical efficiency. More layers, while not strictly required for universal approximation, might just make the learning process faster or capture more fine-grained features. So depth allows for a more efficient representation. Exactly. Instead of forcing two massive layers to learn incredibly complex mappings, you distribute that complexity over many shallower layers. It actually makes the optimization problem, the learning itself, easier to solve in practice. That makes a lot of sense. And then finally, we get to the output layer. 